Hi, and welcome to 45 Minutes of Pilates. I'm Karen, glad to have you with me today. So today, the only equipment you need beside your mat is a small pillow for our side lying series. Just helps with uh, any neck pain that could happen, okay? So uh, just arrive here today, start the class with a good focus on yourself. So let's put everything else to the side. There is very few things in life outside of 45 minutes of exercise or however long you're gonna take that can be just about you. So take this opportunity to just put everything to the side and know it will be waiting for you afterwards. So you can focus on engaging your core, doing your nice Pilates scoop, a good posture. So shoulders relaxed and shoulder blades in your imaginary back pockets, not an exaggerated open chest, but not rounded either just that neutral okay and a tall spine without having to look straight up or straight down the head stays at neutral all right the nice point of the toe for certain things that we do during pilates is going to help you use those inner and outer thighs and a lot of the standing stuff will do that as well all right so when i'm facing the camera this is a skype class that i videoed so when I say left or right, you'll either have to do what you see me doing or what you hear me saying. But either way, you'll be nice and even and balanced in the end. So get ready, here we go. All right, you guys, welcome to Pilates. Thank you for your patience just for a second. We had a little technical difficulty uh, with the filming. So, but I think we're good now. So all you need today is a small pillow. Um, we're gonna do some sideline things. That's what we're gonna use that for. So. Let's bring that chin in your chest. Let's press your shoulder blades in your imaginary back pockets. Think about doing that nice Pilates scoop. So pulling that belly button away from the front of the shirt, lifting it up towards the rib cage. Let's just roll one ear to one shoulder a couple times. Taking some deep cleansing breaths. Just loosening up the neck, making sure just bring yourself fully present here. Put everything else to the side. And one more time. Good, just bring that head to neutral. Let's go ahead and point those toes out to the side. Let's engage your middle and let's do some plie squats, lifting those arms up. So you wanna point those toes out to the side to start incorporating your inner thighs. So four more here, good, three more, two more. Now we're gonna continue to do this, but as I come down this time, I'm gonna lift my right heel, and then I'm gonna lift my left heel. And I'm gonna continue to alternate back and forth, just lifting one heel and then the other. Two more, and one more. Now continue to do those plie squats, but this time bring the right heel up as you come up. And now this time as you come up, it's the left. Just six more, good, five, four more, and three, two and one very good roll the shoulders away from the ears and let's come to the back of your mat please so let's engage your middle and walk those fingertips down those legs and then out to a nice plank position so this is an upper push-up position knees on the mat or not totally up to you so you're gonna lift that right leg slowly up and down, but not very high for four, three, two. Now lift it up and walk your hands back a little bit. Bring your nose towards that left knee and let's lunge so that your right knee is right above the ankle. Let's bring that chest up and kind of tuck the pelvis under as you lean back. So let's swing those arms through, lift the left leg and hold. Good, swing those arms through, lift the left leg and hold. 
Just doing the best you can. And lift. I want you to do that four more times. Good, three more. Working on that balance two more times. And one more time. Go ahead and bring that left leg up and relax your shoulders. And let's go ahead and extend the leg for four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lunge behind you, lean back. And let's bring those palms down and bring your right knee back. You can either have your knees on the mat or knees up. It's up to you. Your right arm is going to lead. Come down to your forearms and hold. And up. So right hand leading the whole time. Right arm comes down. And up. Just two more times. Good. Let's do that one more time. And let's hold it here in an upper plank and dip those hips down for eight, seven knees down if you need to. Same movements, abs engaged, four, three, two, and good. Knees apart, big toes together, breathe and sit it back. And let's do a nice cat stretch. Glance up to the ceiling. Good, let's have a seat at the front of the mat. Make sure there's room to roll back behind you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, grab your ankles or your feet. Good, let's roll down nice and slow. Try to relax those thighs as you come on down. You're gonna rest your head. And you're going to move those legs and arms like a toy soldier. So anytime this is too difficult, feel free to put a foot on the ground. Okay? So let's lower your right arm and your right leg. And slowly switch. Four, eight. Seven abs engaged the whole time. Six legs as straight as possible. Five. Good, four, three, two, and one. Both arms back, abs are engaged, and come on up. Sink that chest forward. Do that two more times. Open chest, relax, thighs, and breathe. Let's move those legs like a toy soldier again. Right leg down, right arm back, and slow and controlled switch. Just keep in mind you can move the legs and the arms the same exact way with one foot resting on the mat if you'd prefer. Four more, I really want you to listen to your body. Three more. Two more. One more, but we're going to bring both arms over the head, engage our abdominals, and come on up. Shoulders down. Let's do that one more time. Relax those thighs. Engage the middle. Make it your abs that are controlling how slowly you come down. And right leg down again. Right arm over that head. Slow and controlled. Eight, seven, nice Pilates scoop that whole time. Six, and five. Legs continue to stay straight as you can. Four, and three, two, and both arms up. Strong through your middle, come on up. Bend those elbows and breathe. Good, let's come back 
to the upper push-up position. Abs are lifted up, and you're going to be lifting that right leg again. Okay, so wrists are below your shoulders. Start with the knees on the mat or off. It's up to you. Four, three, two. The right leg comes all the way up. Walk those hands back. Take a breath. And right leg gently swings through. That knee's right above the ankle. Abs are strong. Lean it back. Good. Let's lift that left leg off the mat and hold. Good. Swing through. Again, hold. And swing through. Doing your best with balance. It's not easy for anybody. We're all working on that balance. Last four. Good, three, two more, one more, arms come up, that left knee comes up, let's extend those toes for four, three, two, and one, left leg back, really lean back and stretch. And those palms come down, right foot back. We're gonna come down to the knees or not. That's up to you. Right forearm leads again. And come on up. Right forearm leads. Come on up. Two more times. Keep those abdominals engaged, fighting gravity. One more time. Good, abs lifted up, hip dips, knees on the mat or not. Eight, seven, six, five, you got this. Four, three, two, and awesome. Knees apart, big toes together, breathe and sit it back. And a nice cat stretch. Glance up. Good. Let's go ahead and have you lie on your right side. And this is where that pillow is, can come in handy. So that right arm is going to come straight out. You don't need the pillow yet, but just keep it handy. Okay. Abs are engaged. Left hand back. Let's put the right palm down to start out with. Let's bend those knees and crunch and reach. Bend those knees and crunch. And yes, you can push just a little bit with that right hand on the mat. You're moving from the left side of the waist and you're not pulling on that head and neck. Let's do four. Good, three, two, and one, now I just want you to pulse, eight, seven, six from the waist, not the neck, four, three, two, grab that pillow, place your head down, T bottom leg is in front, so your right leg is in front, left fingertips barely here, lift, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Bring the legs together and reach. Eight, seven, six, three, two. Rest the head, top leg in front. Eight, seven, six, four. And good, last time pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four two and awesome bend those knees take a breath place the pillow down sit up and let's take that right arm and reach your arms are just like a, or excuse me your legs are like a mermaid feet to your left let's come down to that right forearm now your bottom knee can be on the mat or not i'm going to leave that up to you Left arm is up if possible. That left foot comes forward. 
lifts up and comes back. Again, you can do the same thing with that right knee on the mat if you need to. Lift it up and around. Three more. Good, two more. One more. And good. All right, guys, you're gonna take your right hand, right wrist directly below the shoulder, right knee on the mat, and that left arm just reaches for a good stretch. Sit up for a second, roll the shoulders away from the ears, and let's come back to that upper push-up position. Put the pillow to the side. <clears throat> so you're gonna be lifting that left leg up and down. Again, you could start from the knees and do it here or from your toes. Little lifts, four, three, two, then all the way up. Let's walk those hands back. Nose towards your right knee, left toes reach. Gently swing through. Left knees right above the ankle. Tuck the pelvis under, lean back. Right leg lifts and hold. Good, lean it back. And that leg lifts and hold. Good, lean it back. And abs engaged. You're deciding how high you lift that right leg. Two more times. Good, one more time. And let's go ahead and lift that right leg up. We're not shrugging our shoulders. Right toes up. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in lunge. And let's come down to those palms. Left foot back. You decide whether your knees are on the mat or not. Left forearm leads for four and up. Good, three, and up, breathe two, and one, hip dips here, knees down or not, same movements, eight, seven, try to not hold your breath, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome, knees apart, big toes together, nice stretch, and a nice cat stretch, glancing up, and let's have a seat at the front of the mat. Make sure you've got room to roll back behind you, deep breath in. Exhale, reach for your ankles or your feet, and that chest sinks down. Let's roll down nice and slow. Open chest, relax those thighs. Now we're gonna do an exercise called the crucifix. It's because of the way it starts out here. I will show you lots of options. So you're gonna engage your middle you're gonna come up and hug those knees and come down. Another option is hug those knees and crunch here. All right, I want it to be an, an engaging of the middle that lifts you up. Another option is just to hug one knee as you come in or one knee as you come up. But either way, you're doing this very controlled. So engage the middle, keep that good posture the whole time. Try six more, these are tough. Good, five more, breathe. Four more times, nice and strong. Good, three more. Two more times. 
One more time, you guys. Good, go ahead and bring it up again. And let's hold your V-sit. If you need to keep your feet down or one foot up, that's fine. Shoulders down. Eight, seven, six, four, and good. So those feet are far away from you. Let's walk the hands towards the toes. Exhale, allow that chest to sink down and breathe. Let's come back to that upper push-up position. Wrist below the shoulders. You know the options, keep those knees down or not. Abs are lifted, left leg slowly and small lifts. Four, three, two, lift it all the way up. Walk those hands back and breathe. And gently swing through. Left knees right above the ankle. Let's go ahead and lift that right leg up, abs engaged. Hold, swing through, and hold. We all have one side that's a little bit easier to balance than the other. Just do the best that you can. Good. Keep breathing. Last three, you guys. Last two. One more. Let's bring those arms up. Bring your right knee up. Shoulders relax. Toes up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lunge behind you. Lean it back. Good, palms down, left foot back, knees down or not, you decide. Left arm leading for four and up. Good, three and up. You're strong, two. One more. Now you're going to do hip dips. You decide whether knees are down or not. Eight. Seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and good. Knees apart, big toes together and breathe. Nice cat stretch. Glance up and have a seat at the front of the mat. Walk those hands towards your ankles or your feet. Elbows down and breathe. Good, let's roll down nice and slow. Shoulders down. Engage the middle. Good, let's reach up towards those right toes. And lower, good. Up towards the right toes, I want it to be your center that lifts you up and not flinging those arms. Good. Deep cleansing breath, really engage. Four more times, nice and strong. Good, three more times. Two more. One more time. Arms at the side, flutter kick for about 30 seconds. Now you decide whether those legs are close to the ground or whether they lift up a little bit, depending on how those abs are feeling about now. 15 seconds left. Nice and strong. 
three, two, and good. Hug those knees tight. Draw some circles. Massage your low back. Good, let's walk ourselves up. Shoulders down, let's hold another V-sit. You decide whether one feet or both feet need to be down. Listen to your back. Abs engaged, eight, seven, six, five, four more, two, and good. Bring those heels a little closer to you. Hold on around your toes, shoulders down. Lift that head up and then gently nose towards those toes. Let's come to your left side. Don't forget to go ahead and have that pillow near you. So you're gonna go ahead and have that left arm straight out, palm down, hand behind your head, Abs are engaged. So we're going to bend those knees and lift up and reach. Good. Strong. Think about using your obliques and your middle. Yes, you can push down a little bit with that left hand, but try to make it more about what that middle's doing. Good. Four more. Three more times. Two more. One more time. And let's pulse. Eight from the middle, not the neck. Four, three, two, and one. Put your head down. Right fingertips here, bottom leg in front, and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Reach eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Rest your head, top leg in front. Eight, seven, five, three, two, one. And pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and good. Rest your head, bend those knees, take a breath. Put the pillow to the side, let's sit up. Feet stay to the right, left arm reaches. And we're gonna come to that left forearm. And you're gonna be up in the side plank. Feel free to keep that bottom knee on the mat. See if everybody can lift that hip up. Here we go, the right foot comes forward, lift it up and around and back, and forward, up and around and back, good. Just doing the best you can, you take a break when you need to. Be proud of yourself for getting here today. Good, last three. These are tough, two. One more time, you guys and down, awesome, woo. All right, so that left hand is down with the wrist directly below the shoulder, left knee is down, and you're gonna take that right arm and just reach. Good, go ahead and come up to those knees, roll those shoulders back a couple times, and then you're gonna go ahead and come to a forward fold. So engage your middle, gently take that head down, lift that tailbone up and take a breath. Straightest legs as you feel comfortable. And then hang the head down, let's just roll up slowly. Shoulders roll away from those ears, good. And let's go ahead, bring those feet nice and wide and let's alternate with those plie squats. Now we won't be able to keep them out as uh, exaggerated because we're gonna be lifting the legs, but the legs are apart. Bend those knees, right leg up. Bend the knees, now left. 
try to pause for a second as you lift. Try to sit back into the heels as you squat and abs engaged, especially as you squat down. We don't want that low back to be vulnerable. Good. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two, and one. Now right leg lifts for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, best you can, two, another squat, left leg up, eight, seven, six, good, four, squat right one more time, you got it, eight, don't fall, seven, six, five, strong, stare at one spot, it helps, last squat, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome. Feet together, right leg, or excuse me, right arm reaches. Walk your left fingertips down. Take that left hand gently, just pull on that right arm, and let's push the right foot down. Breathe, let's switch sides. And take that right hand, gently pull the arm straight, rest the head, pressing that left foot into the mat. Good job, shoulders back. And let's come to the back of your mat. Abs are engaged, walk those hands down the legs. Walk those hands out. You're gonna come down to your forearms and you're welcome to keep your knees on the mat or lift them up. Now lift those abs up. Let's do a slow plank saw. So you slowly slide forward, slowly back. Good, breathe. Strong middle. Try to keep the hips down at neutral, so not lift too high. Last four. Breathe three. Good, two, and one, awesome. Knees apart, big toes together. Exhale, breathe and sit back. Look up to your left and rotate your wrist. Left hand, palm up underneath the right. Rest on the left side of the face and take your right fingertips, walk them away. And let's go ahead and place the right hand at the low back. Allow those shoulders just to flop. Deep breaths. Untwist slowly. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So look up to your right, rotate the wrist. And then right hand palm up underneath, rest on the right side of the face. So your left fingertips are now walking away. And left hand at the low back. Relax those shoulders, wiggle your fingers. Good, untwist. And let's have a seat at the front of your mat. Hands walk towards your ankles or your feet and just sink that chest down. Good, roll down nice and slow. Thighs are relaxed, abs are strong. And let's bring that left leg up. Engage the middle so it's not coming from the neck and the head. We're gonna reach towards that left leg, lower down and hold. Good, scoop that belly button in and that's what's lifting you up. Lift up and hold. Keep breathing. Very strong. You're very 
three best. Last four. Good, three more. Two more times. And one more time. Awesome. Abs engage, little tiny flutter kicks, 30 seconds. Keep the belly button pulled down. If you need to modify, either bring the legs higher or put one foot down. Keep those shoulders relaxed. You have 10 more seconds. Three, two, and awesome. Hug those knees. And let's take those arms out to the side. Feet far apart. Let's windshield wiper the knees slowly. So look in one direction as the knees are shifted to the opposite. And then switch. So always looking in the other direction, away from where the knees are. One more time to each side. And switch. Good. All right. So let's start with those feet on the mat, fingertips behind the head. I want you to engage your middle, nice and strong. So I want you to do little shifts side to side to start out with. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now slow it down. Lift right, good, and left. Now, take your fingertips out of your peripheral vision and lift the rib cage up. Yes. Two more. One more. Now both knees up and continue to go one side then the other. Try your best to keep those elbows out of your peripheral vision. If you need to modify, just place those feet back down. Let's do eight. Breathe seven. Good. Six. Twisting from that rib cage area. Five. Four more. Three. Elbows don't pull in. Two. Now little one side to side. Ready? Eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, and awesome. Woo! Hug those knees in. Deep cleansing breath. And go ahead and bring yourself up to a V-sit. Shoulders down. Let's hold it, keeping those that chest open. One foot or both. Eight, seven, six, four. Good, hug those knees, shoulders down. Let's do that same V-sit. Again, you could lean back with both feet down or you could have one foot up, that's up to you. Okay, so shoulders down, abs scooped in. Little tiny presses. Eight, seven, six, four, and good. Shoulders down, sit up. Let's come back up to that V-sit. Again, feet down, please listen to your back. You decide. Abs are engaged. Good, let's bring those arms up. Take the right arm out and the left and the right and the left. Good, feet together, fold forward. We're gonna do that one more time. Good. Shoulders down, abs are scooped in. You decide whether both feet are up or down or one foot. Six. Five. Good. Four. Three. Two. And awesome. All right, let's go ahead and sit with your right leg in front. Deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and reach that right arm nice and long. And take that left hand, reach across to grab that knee. 
Good, deep breath in and down. Switch, left leg in front, inhale, and left arm reaches. Right hand reaches across, gently sink down. Good. All right, roll down to the mat. Walking the hands towards the ankles or feet first. And then let's roll down slowly. Relax those thighs. Engage your middle. Last thing before we stretch, I want you to bring those feet into a butterfly. And you can choose to lift the legs or not. So engage your middle, elbows towards your knees, and tap the heels down barely. So if you don't want to lift the legs, you don't have to. If this hurts your neck, feel free to just do the legs. Last eight, not pulling on the head and neck at all. Good, seven. Six, very strong. Number five, good, last four. Last three, good, two more. And one more, very good. Let the knees relax apart, arms to your sides and take a deep breath in and out. Feet together. Let's walk those heels towards your fingertips, feet farther apart than your hips, and let's press those hips up into your bridge. So separating through the hip flexors. Lower down nice and slow. And let's hug that right knee into your chest. Let the left leg come flat and rotate that right foot gently. Now the left hand brings the knee across the body. Let's look to your right and gently this left hand pulls that knee in a diagonal. Good, as you exhale, let's go ahead and hold on to that right foot with both hands. Gently pull the foot towards the middle of your chest. And then hold on to the foot with both hands around your toes. Push the heel up and stop when you have enough of a hamstring stretch. You could take your first two fingers around the big right toe and push that right heel up. Deep breath. Good, feet together. You're gonna either hold on around your ankles or clasp your fingertips around your feet and gently heels pull down, press those knees apart. Release, let's hug the left knee in and circle that foot. And that right hand brings the knee gently in a diagonal away from your left shoulder. You're looking to your left. Again, deep breaths, letting the belly lift and lower. Let's go ahead and hold that left foot with both hands and gently pull it towards the middle of the chest. Then hold on to the left toes or ball of the foot. Push the heel up and just stop when you have enough of a hamstring stretch. You don't have to straighten the leg. You could make a hook with your first two left fingers for the big toe. Good, let's go ahead and carefully rock ourselves up to a nice sitting position. Let's take that right hand down and reach the left arm. And then gently take that head over, stretching the neck. Slide this hand to the low back, left fingertips inch to the back of the head, chin down, very gently press forward. 
chin down, relax. And let's take that right arm and reach. That right hand gently helps the head to come over. Left hand slides to the low back. With that chin down, we inch the fingertips to the back of the head and breathe. Good, chin down, take a breath. And deep breath in, reach. Exhale, give yourself a hug and pat on the back. Thank you for doing Pilates with me today. High five.